What's up guys, back at it again. So, to be completely honest with you, I don't know what the goal is for this weekend. So I'm just gonna work on all these little things here and there, uh, keep the camera with me. Anytime there is anything important or anything comes up, I'll show you guys that, show you guys any little updates that I have. And yeah, we'll see what we get ourselves into today. Uh, other than that, we might go test driving later once the sun is actually going down. Uh, but right now it is super hot, like it's probably like 112 right now, so Arizona problems, what are you going to do? So I'm going to go ahead and get working on all the little things here and there, and I'll get back to you guys with an update. Alright guys, so little by little this thing is starting to turn into a complete car. Uh, so right now I am just currently working on trying to get the front bumper on. So ever since I've had the car, the bumper has been misaligned here on the fender. Basically the bumper comes all the way out to like over here. So basically it's as if the bumper is pushed back that way. And I mean, I think the reason for that is because the previous owner maybe uh, rear-ended somebody or just bumped the front. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So basically the bumper from the passenger side is just pushed inward just a little bit. So what I went ahead and did is take the bumper support and just put spacers on the mounting surface right here so basically what that's doing is just spacing it out on this side and at this point I did already uh, test fit the bumper it's fitting up pretty straight not the straightest but it is pretty straight so I'll be pretty happy with it until I do get this thing painted get all the body work done and everything like that it should hold me off until then but yeah I just went ahead and aligned that and right now what I'm doing is getting the bumper ready to actually get mounted onto the bumper support because my plans for this are to actually mount a quick release for the bumper so I just went ahead and picked these up right here I'm sure you've seen them on pretty much every drift car but basically the idea with those is to have two of them mounted over here around the middle somewhere and then from there I do want to figure out something as far as like a quick release on the sides of the bumper I do not want to use those little rubber clip things that everybody uses because I think those things look really cheap. I'm going to be using those things 
mounting that on right now. Basically, I have gotten started with this. Um, so right here, the bumper basically mounts up to this surface, almost flush, like it's pretty perfect how it fits up. So because of that, this thing, this thing is pretty high. So if I were to have it flush on the bumper, you can see that there's pretty big gap there. So the idea is to bolt the stud down to that right there. That way, whenever um, this thing gets mounted on, it could actually sit flush in here like that. I might end up cutting it off right there just so the bumper can slide in, you know. It can slide in, boom, attached to those pins. But realistically, the bumper is pretty flexible. So what I am thinking is I'm going to be sliding it and then just go whoosh, bend it up and then pop it right in place. So that's kind of the idea right now. If that doesn't work out so well, then I am going to be just cutting those off right there just so it could slide in. Uh, but yeah, that's the idea right now. I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this. I'll get back with you guys when I have some updates. All right, guys, getting back to you with an update here. Sorry about the wind if it's really loud. But uh, basically, I went through and actually mounted my bumper on. So you can see that. And just to show you guys really quick, this is where the bumper was damaged whenever I rear-ended the Tacoma. So basically, that's right where the tow hitch goes in place right there. And that's what bumped into the bumper. So you can kind of see there's some pretty good damage. It went in there pretty good, but I'll try to push that out as much as possible and then use some sort of like uh, plastic bumper repair and uh, get that back to good shape you know I'm not gonna say it's back to I'm not gonna say I'll get it back to brand new but we'll get this thing back to pretty decent shape but that will be coming down later on down the road whenever I'm actually gonna paint the car so I'm not too concerned with that just yet that's always been misaligned I did kind of align it back to normal or back to a pretty good back to a pretty good spot you guys should have seen it before and the whole idea is to basically just put the bumper on and right here just align it through the factory location so these little guys actually align it and then from there once it's aligned then you just clip it onto those guys and then that holds it in place so for now that's basically all i am using although i do have two more which if i needed to i can place those over here and just kind of use these as a way to clip it and i mean if i went that route where i used uh, those little quick releases over here on this side i might even be able to align the bumper better so I mean, I might do that later on down the road or if I do have any issues with this setup here. But like I said, for now I'll just run that. All right guys, getting back to you with another update here. So honestly, I haven't really done too much with the car. I just went through, kind of cleaned the door panels on the inside and I put my uh, rear tie bar back in, just some little things here and there. And then with all the little things that I've been doing here and there, uh, me and my dad did just take it out a couple of times for uh, some more tuning and this time we actually did get to rip it. So we might go out again today in a little bit. Uh, so when we go out again, I'll take the cameras with me and I'll try to get some video of that just because this thing was sounding so, so so good um, so yeah so if we go out again I will get some more footage of that so again not really much this weekend hopefully we will get a little bit more tuning and I can show you guys that but other than that I will be back next weekend when more of my parts actually start coming in to finish the wiring um, so yeah so hopefully I can complete the wiring by next weekend if not we'll just kind of go from there see what we get into but yeah but other than that I'll get back with you guys when we're gonna get some more tuning in
there you go guys. Those ITVs are sounding insane. I wish you guys can hear them in person because the videos really don't do it justice. As you guys can see, the bass tune is solid. Make sure you guys hit the comments and shout out my dad for making these rips possible. Uh, he did get that bass tune super solid. I am able to just drive that thing around. We can rip on it. I'm not gonna be ripping on it too much until we actually get it dyno tuned, but Stella is ripping. Those ITBs are singing and I couldn't be happier. There hasn't been any sort of major issues. I have to take care of a couple little maintenance things here and there, but other than that, I'm gonna keep this video short and wrap it up here so I can get this video out to you guys. So, you know the deal. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are enjoying the build or the channel, do me a favor and share. It'll really help out. I really wanna try to get this channel to 2,000 subscribers before I hit the dyno. So, let's see if we can make that happen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.